the devil. Another major reason is a war economy. Look at the United States. Look how much they spend on weapons. The next closest country is China. And we can see now this emerging problem between China and the United States. And I said this over 10 years ago that the Muslims are just a paper tiger right now until China gets reared up. And then just to keep this arms race going, to keep Raytheon and General Electric and all these corporations that bring good things to death, right? Just for them to make all of their money. This is human greed. This is the result of building these bombs. This is what happens to human beings when we allow these mad people to rule our economies, to govern our, our nations. These are insane people. There's no reason for us to fight the Iranians. My country has, no, I have nothing against any of those Iranian people on the street in Tehran, nothing whatsoever. And if I met them, we'd sit down and have tea and speak and talk. I have nothing against the Iraqi people. I have nothing against the Egyptian people. I have nothing against the Russian people. If you don't step on my toes, I don't step on your toes. But we have, we have rulers in power that are making billions of dollars, billions of dollars. And the people, the puppets that are put into power to represent them, not to represent us, to represent them. These puppets that create wars because they have war economies and then they come in with all of their contracts and they rebuild these countries and we fall for it again and again and again. Human beings, not just Muslims, human beings should wake up to what's happening to us, to what's happening to our planet. Syria, over one million houses destroyed. Do you know how hard it is to build a house? Do you know how much time it takes to earn the money to build a house? One million houses destroyed, five million refugees. Where did they get the armaments? Who's supplying them? Who wins in these games? Certainly not the human beings that are at the brunt of all of this violence. Look at the government budgets in relation to education throughout the world. This is insanity. These weapons of mass destruction have nothing to do with us. They should, our money should not be going to these things. Our tax dollars should not be going to these things. This is sinister. Another major reason is oil consumption. And this cannot continue on. It can't. It will not continue on. People have to recognize that this will come to an end. This is one of the great miracles of our Prophet. Our Prophet وسلم, predicted in a hadith, أمثال الأسطوان من الذهب والفضة فيجي القاتل فيقول في هذا قتلت. He said that the earth will vomit up. قاء يقيء means أخرج من فمه ما كانت في معدته. This is a miracle of the Prophet, and he said that the earth will vomit what was in its liver. And aflad, according to the, uh, Arabic philologists, aflad is the kunuz al-ard. Aflad al-ard is kunuz al-ard, the treasures of the earth. But this is, once it's been digested, it vomits it up. This is exactly what hydrocarbons are. They were once on the earth, they got swallowed by the earth, they're digested, they're stored in the liver of the earth like glycogen. It's energy. Just like you have carbohydrates, you have hydrocarbons. The only difference is an oxygen molecule. It spits up, it literally vomits up. And there it is, vomiting it up. And then the Prophet said, like Ustuan, ka amthal al Ustuan. If you look at this, if you look up there, that's an Ustuan in Arabic. Ustuana is a cylinder. And he said, they'll be like cylinders of gold and silver. Amthal, as if they were gold and silver. This is a clear miracle of the Prophet where he predicted the barrels of oil. Because the baramil, the barmil is a ustuana in Arabic, in fusha. This is a clear prophecy from our Prophet ﷺ. But also, I want to tell you that the earth is getting, we're giving the earth diabetes because oil is like sugar. It's a refined energy. We're using it to fuel our societies in the same way we're using sugar to fuel our bodies. And the earth is getting acidic rain. The oceans are becoming acidic. The soil is becoming acidic. This is what's happening because of this overconsumption of oil, which is completely insane. There are over 1 billion vehicles in operation. The car has to come to an end. People don't want to give up the car, but the car has to come to an end. But another major problem is the war economy. And this is where 
we as a, especially in the United States, where we have, you know, we talk about budgets and making cuts and welfare mothers and nobody wants to talk seriously about this obscene armaments. We were warned by Eisenhower as he was departing after spending his life serving the military and working with the, the military industry. He warned us about this new phenomenon, the military industrial complex. And we have to recognize that the type of budgets that this country has for military spending are, are obscene. They are obscene. And it's money that could be going to much, much uh, better things. This is the result of the aerial bombing that happened in Germany. And this is why we have to end uh, war as a species. We have to recognize it is an obsolete way. Uh, Clausewitz, the great war strategist from Europe, said that war was just the extension of politics by other means. So war is, 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 is a political act because in politics you try to get things done. When things aren't getting done through the traditional means of politics, then you use violence to get them done. It doesn't work anymore. If it ever worked, it's arguable, but it does not work. This is a scene from Syria. So it's going on now. Um, it's still happening. And these are the budgets. If you look at education compared to military spending, it's insane. I mean, Pakistan spends so much on the military. Um, some of the Gulf states have budgets. Saudi Arabia has a budget that's it's the seventh largest military budget after India, a, a country of 19 million people. Why? Because they're subsidizing Western industry. It's as simple as that. They don't use it. When the Gulf War came, they didn't, they didn't, they, the Americans came and, and other people. So why are these, these obscene budgets being uh, used? And then we also, we, we don't want to deal with this, but this can't go on either. Um, our prophet actually predicted that the time would come, he said, when the liver of the earth would vomit forth. And, and he said that it would be like pillars of gold and silver. And the one who kills on the day of judgment, he will come and say, this is the reason I killed for? And then the one being killed will say, this is the reason I was killed? And the wars, if you read Daniel Jurgen's book, The Prize, the, the 20th century was wars over oil. And, and oil is the blood of our technological society. It is the blood. And it's more precious than human blood for a lot of people. We cannot, if we now, if the average earthling lives like the average American, we will need three Earths to supply uh, the consumption. It's impossible. It's untenable. It can't go on. 